And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Molly Hendrickson. New tonight, there are plans to transform the National Western Complex into a year-round destination center. The city is acquiring 64 acres of residential and commercial property for the expansion. Letters have gone out to renters who are about to lose the roof over their heads. They're starting to worry, as you can imagine. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to some of those tenants. The city, as the new landlord of some of that residential property, is offering moving expenses and rental assistance, but tenants who are about to lose their homes worry they won't be able to find another place. One man told me he worries he could end up being homeless. I talked to them uh, about two days ago, and their response was they were going to give me $650 to move. That puts my stuff on the street. Nicholas Black received this letter from the city notifying him that he's eligible for moving costs and rental assistance. Ted Newman received one too. So did every tenant in this rooming house building on 47th Avenue. It's not a notice to vacate yet, but that notice will be coming soon. As everyone knows, finding any sort of affordable rental property these days in Denver is nigh to impossible. Especially for what they're currently paying. I don't think we're going to be able to find anything at $500 a month. Black says even with the assistance Denver is offering, $650 in moving costs and assistance based on the difference in cost of their current unit and a comparable property, he may end up on the street because he can't afford first and last month's rent and a deposit. He notes that Denver has a camping ban. I don't want to be over here you know, being prosecuted for uh, sleeping downtown. What are you going to do? Panic. No, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to start looking on Craigslist and look around as much as I can. As far as finding a place, it's, I know it's going to be a needle in a haystack venture, perhaps. Now, the big question is, when will these tenants have to move? Amber Miller at the mayor's office told me this evening that the individuals have 90 days to vacate but can request additional time if they need it. Miller said the city wants to help the tenants in any way it can to help find their next home, including giving them more time. Molly? All right.